Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Thank you, ABC and SA. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord for our musicians and his choir. Marvelous matches way in which the Lord has used them to bring us joy. And that's what I want to talk about this morning. Psalms 51, one verse, verse 12. Verse 12 reads, and let's just do a section of the verse. It says, read. Hold it, you may be seated. That's all I want to do. I want my joy back. Look at your neighbor and tell him, I want my joy back. Look on the other side and tell him, I want my joy back. And I want you to tell the devil, you not going to take my joy. Amen. Hallelujah. That's what I want to talk about. I want my joy back. And I don't think I'm going to follow my very sermon outline. Morning. Um, I'm just gonna start talking, and uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna be a freelance preacher this morning. I want my joy. This joy of which I reference can be purchased from Walmart. Right. You know, there is a joy dishwashing liquid. <laughs> Help me hold the cross. I'm not talking about that joy. I'm talking about the joy that comes when you're in right relation with Jesus Christ. I, I know some of you um, think you're smart, but you ain't got no joy. And I, I know you're cute, you look good to me, but you, but you need some joy. I know you got power and position and prestige, but baby, listen, you better get you some joy. And you can know the joy this morning. You know, joy is a fruit of the Spirit. Joy is not uh, predicated on outward circumstances. See, happiness has to do with external situations. But, but joy has to do with inside contentment. And when you got inside contentment, even though you may have external uh, confusion, you can still have joy. Somebody here today, I, I want to try to help you get your joy back. David. Eight son of Jesse. The writer of this 51st song. The, the background from which this 51st Psalms was born can be found in the Old Testament, 2 Samuel 11 and 12 chapter. 
David writes this 51st Psalms 12 months after he has been involved in an adulterous relationship with Bathsheba and has had her husband Uriah killed. And anytime you take what's not yours, you're going to lose your joy. Somebody will help me preach here. So, so, so David has a position because he's the king of Israel. 